Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This question says advice on how to get out of a rut when your iman is low. Feeling guilty having low iman in Ramadan. So I think feeling guilty is a positive thing when it's a catalyst for a tawbah. And it makes you want to turn to Allah in repentance and it makes you want to act. I think then it's a very positive thing to feel guilty. But when you feel guilty and it just makes you miserable, that in itself, the guilt there isn't the right kind of guilt. The right kind of guilt is the kind that makes you think, right, you know, I should not be like this in Ramadan. It's not right. What do I need to do? Okay, now let me do it. And what you need to do is really simple. I'm going to give you three, four things, inshallah. Number one, asking Allah for forgiveness. And if you don't have the specific thing in mind that, you know, you're struggling to kind of figure out where it all went wrong, then just ask Allah with the comprehensive du'as. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa ant khalaqtani wa ana abduk wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'adika ma istata'at. A'udhu bika min sharri ma salat. Abu'u laka bi ni'matik alay wa abu'u bi dhanbi. Faghfir li fa innahu la yaghfiru al-dhunuba illa ant. You can find that du'a in Hisn al-Muslim um, in the du'as of the morning and the evening. It's called Sayyid al-Istighfar. The, the best or the master of istighfar. That, oh Allah, you are my Lord, there is no God worthy of worship, but you, you created me and I'm your slave. And I am sticking to your promise and your covenant as much as I can. I recognize and confess to your blessings over me and I recognize and confess to my sins. So forgive me because nobody forgives sins except you. And the dua that our mother Aisha was taught by the Prophet ﷺ, Allahumma innaka afuun, tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are the one who loves to pardon the, the most the, or the oft pardoning. So pardon, you love to pardon, so pardon me. And likewise the dua, Allahumma ghfir lana ma qaddamna wa ma akharna, wa ma asrarna wa ma a'lanna. وَمَا أَسْرَفْنَا وَمَا أَنْتَ أَعْلَمُ بِهِ مِنَّا أَنْتَ الْمُقَدِّمُ وَأَنْتَ الْمُؤَخِّرُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ That, O oh Allah, forgive us what we have already done and what we have yet to do. And what we did secretly and what we did openly. And when we transgressed all of the limits and what you know about better than we do, you are Al Muqaddim wal Muakhir, the one who brings people forward and puts people back. La ilaha illa ant, there is no God worthy of worship but you. And there are many others. So Tawbah is one. One of them is to look at the deeds which raise your Iman. They're like superfoods for your Iman. And there, there are certain deeds that really have an instant effect on a person's Iman. One is mujahadatun nafs, like striving against yourself. You've had one habit, you, ne you just could not break this habit. You couldn't break this habit. And then finally, you just pushed against yourself and you broke that habit that you'll feel the iman for, you know, inshallah, days and weeks afterwards, you'll feel the effect of it on your iman. Uh, helping out other people who are in need. Uh, reading the Qur'an and reflecting upon the signs of Allah in the Qur'an and the signs of Allah in His creation. Seeking beneficial knowledge. These are just some of the superfoods for your Iman. You know, you straight away you see your Iman go up and you feel it go up. So that is also from the very, very uh, important things uh, that you can do when you feel that you're in a rut. From the things you can do when you feel in a rut is to ask Allah to renew the iman that is in your heart. So to say, Allahumma jaddidil imana fi qalbi. Oh Allah, renew the iman that is in my heart. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Inna al-imana la yakhlaqu fi jawfi ahadikum kama yakhlaqu thawb. Fas'alu Allah ta'ala an yujaddid al-imana fi qulubikum. The Prophet ﷺ said, Iman wears out in the heart of one of you like your clothing wears out so ask Allah to renew the iman that is in your heart that is also another thing which is very important when you feel that you are in a rut but out of all of this the most important thing that I can say to you is to start taking an action don't sit wallowing in your misery but actually start doing things okay step one step two step three 
and you'll feel so much better just by taking those steps, even if they're only baby steps, and Allah is best.